Jocko Sims opens up about giving back and helping children in need on Red Nose Day 2021. Plus, he's revealing what new Amsterdam fans can expect from the last two episodes of the season. May 27 marks the annual fundraising initiative to support life-changing programs to ensure that children who are living in poverty are safe, healthy. Educated and empowered across the U.S. and around the world. New Amsterdam star and longtime Red Nose Day supporter Jocko Sims is chatting exclusively with E. News to encourage people to get involved and donate to the cause, which has raised more than $240 million in the last six years. Plus, Sims is also spilling scoop about what new Amsterdam fans can expect from the upcoming final two episodes of season three. E. News, tell us about your past participation in Red Nose Day and why this cause is so important to you. JS, I first got introduced to it through this wonderful network at NBC. They asked me to participate in different events and different things we did online. But once I saw what they were really about and the extraordinary work that they had done in raising millions and millions of dollars. and actually just what they stood for, I knew I wanted to be part of it long term and do whatever it is that I could. So most recently, for my birthday this past February, I hit everybody on social media and said, look. The only thing I want you to do is donate to Red Nose Day. And I think within just a few days we raised $2,500 bucks. I set my goal at $5,000 and maybe next time we can make it there, but we raised $2,500 bucks and I was just so overwhelmed with the generosity of everybody. Just the fact that they're looking out for children and working to end child poverty, I think it's very, very crucial. May 27 marks the annual fundraising initiative to support life-changing programs to ensure that children who are living in poverty are safe. healthy, educated and empowered across the U.S. and around the world. New Amsterdam star and longtime Red Nose Day supporter Jocko Sims is chatting exclusively with E. News to encourage people to get involved and donate to the cause which has raised more than $240 million in the last six years. Plus, Sims is also spilling scoop about what new Amsterdam fans can expect from the upcoming final two episodes of season three. News, tell us about your past participation in Red Nose Day and why this cause is so important to you.
Nexus.js, I first got introduced to it through this wonderful network at NBC. They asked me to participate in different events and different things we did online. But once I saw what they were really about and the extraordinary work that they had done in raising millions. And millions of dollars, and actually just what they stood for, I knew I wanted to be part of it long term and do whatever it is that I could. So most recently, for my birthday this past February, I hit everybody on social media and said, Look, the only thing I want you to do is donate to Red Nose Day, and I think within just a few days we raised $2,500 bucks. I set my goal at $5,000 and maybe next time we can make it there but we raised $2,500 bucks and I was just so overwhelmed with the generosity of everybody. Just the fact that they're looking out for children and working to end child poverty, I think it's very, very crucial. E. News. Are you going to encourage people involved this year via social media? JS, oh absolutely. I love it. I love the angle they have with red noses, if there's anything that I would work with them to change is the idea that it's a day. I love that it is a day because we can focus and remind people of it, but the whole organization, it's year round. It's really a misnomer. I'm definitely going to be pushing out information and letting people know they can go to the website and they can download a digital nose, which is always cool. News, Season 3 of New Amsterdam is coming to a close in the coming weeks. What can you tease about the last two episodes? JS, it's really, really exciting. I can say that there will be some things that will be buttoned up. We have the relationship between Reynolds, Sims, and Malvo, Francis Turner, where you've seen Reynolds being thrown a bit by meeting this new doctor. But she's in a relationship, she's married, and she's in an open marriage. He's really in over his head in this situation, but what makes it difficult is that he likes her. This goes against anything he stands for but he just can't leave her alone. So something will come to a head with that relationship in the end, and it's going to be really exciting. And we have a very big surprise that will throw fans for a loop. I'm really excited about that. News, so they'll get some sort of answer about Reynolds and Malvo. JS, absolutely. E. News, and what about Max, Ryan Eggold? Obviously I know he has lots of decisions to make about his daughter.
Will we see some sort of resolve or answer with that situation by the end of the season? JS, yes, that will get resolved. I read the scripts and I know what's coming but when I watch the relationship and the dynamic between Sharp. Freeman Ackerman, and Max, my heart's in my throat. There's a couple of scenes, episodes ago, where it just looked like they were going to make that connection and come so close. And I know what's going to happen and I'm just like, wow, did it change? What's going to happen? It's just so beautiful. I think that will be buttoned up a little bit as well. I think with those two, you have to make a decision, are we going to move forward, are we really going to make this happen? And I know the fans are clamoring for one thing, but something shall come to a head there.